In the case before the Supreme Court, we've got two completely opposing views on the role of the states in terms of enforcing immigration law. On the one hand, you've got the federal government that is arguing in this particular case that the state of Arizona, regardless of its particular interests, has no business in telling the federal government what to do in terms of enforcing immigration law. It's long been held that immigration law is the exclusive province of the federal government. The Supreme Court has upheld that. And Congress has intended that the Attorney General should be in, in uh, complete control of enforcing that law. On the other hand, you've got the state of Arizona that represents a lot of the other border states in concluding that they feel a particular pressure in their jurisdiction because of undocumented immigration. And so in order to cure the effects they view of this influx of undocumented people, they need to be able to help the federal government in terms of enforcing the law. Well, there are only four provisions of the Arizona law that are at issue here. Two of the provisions have to do with the Arizona police officer's power to investigate and arrest undocumented persons, and two provisions having to do with criminal laws that Arizona has passed regarding whether undocumented persons who are found in the state can be found to be criminal just because they're there, or when they're found to be working in the state can be also found to be criminal. And listening to the oral arguments, it seems that the court was very much concerned with Arizona's representation that it wanted to help the federal government enforce the criminal law. So it seems that the provisions regarding um, enforcement, regarding the police power, may be upheld if, in fact, the state of Arizona is willing to help enforce federal law. On the other hand, the court was a little bit more skeptical about the criminal law provisions because they create a different sort of enforcement regime than that of the federal government. On the provision regarding um, the criminalization of workers, Arizona wants to make all undocumented workers in Arizona criminals under the law. That's different from the federal regime. In 1986, Congress passed a law that created sanctions for employers who knowingly employed undocumented persons, but did nothing with respect to employees. And so Congress has decided, in terms of balancing the equities, that they would focus more on the employers rather than employees. Arizona is substituting its view of what the proper balance should be by criminalizing the employees. And I think that's something that the court might be concerned about. We're seeing a tug of war between the federal government and the state governments. And as that applies to people who are thinking about uh, engaging in immigration law, or practicing immigration law, I think they need to think about the fact that even though immigration law is a law that uh, is federal in nature, that involves the federal government's view on who gets to be in the United States and under what terms. We're seeing a resurgence of and an interest among the states in regulating that. And so careful attorneys will need to be able to be familiar not just with the federal law on these issues, but also state laws as well.